I've decided to change some of my videos on my YouTube channel. I did this because many of us are at home and not able to work, or there are some that are either sick or taking care of their loved ones. In fact, I'm staying home myself for a week just because I'm trying to get rid of my sinusitis. My boss told me to stay home and get better. You can probably tell from my voice. I've been thinking lately on how I can share with you my thoughts and feelings about the things that are going on around us. I feel bad because I haven't made or filmed new videos lately. It is because of the situations that has been happening all over the world. We have so many questions unanswered. Is this true? Is it a conspiracy theory? Or are we being punished? Many of us are very concerned about the pandemic. It is fast approaching. Our lives are in panic mode. We watch social media and all we see are the worst stories, making us worry about things we should not. They cause us grief, doubt, stress, and even sickness. Our instinct is often to react quickly and do things we should not be doing. As Christians, we need to pause and ask God for further instructions. We need to be still and listen to what God wants us to do in the midst of a storm, than to frantically seek our own solution. I can tell you that for the most part I worry. There have been many times I become afraid about the world's situation. That's not how our Lord wants us to react. Apostle Paul tells us plainly to be anxious for nothing, but to pray to the Lord who offers peace, regardless of the situation. If you are a believer, you are called to rest in Christ, to abide in Him and seek His will. First step is to get you focused off the circumstances and redirect it to Christ.
Christ niya doon. Hindi na siya nagsimula, right? Ngayon, uh, after three years, oo, oh, oh, kailangan magamit mo lang yung mga advert, ano yung mga ano nila, product. Pag nakikita nila yung marami kang ano, We have an awesome Father who hears our every prayer and gives us peace in the midst of crisis. We don't always pray fervently, but now we can and take a moment to reflect on our doubts, fears, sorrows, pain, and even our unrighteousness and earnestly present them to God. Your concerns matter to Heavenly Father, and He will listen. Passionate prayers are motivated by a burden of heart and a strong sense of personal helplessness. Trust in the Lord with all of your hearts and lean not into our own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make our paths straight.